guys in this tutorial let's learn few techniques to cost minimum cost spanning fee to find minimum cost spanning fee so there are two main methods i'll be discussing two methods in this video only don't worry so the first method is prims algorithm okay these are these two are very easy when you are solving the problem but to write the steps you'll be bit you'll be a bit confused okay let's go through prims algorithm first okay i'll be going through the steps and then we'll be solving a pro problem okay i'll be solving a problem that's fine okay now i'll be doing on a separate paper don't worry so let g is equals to v comma e such that a graph g has some set of vertices and set of edges is a connected weighted graph weighted undirected or directed it's all up to the given graph okay initially step one choose any vertex any vertex as the starting vertex any vertex as the starting vertex choose an edge okay edge e1 such that it starts from v1 to v2 such that the length or the weight of the graph should be less yeah that's it continue step 2 for v2 so now we traveled v1 to v2 so now from v2 we'll be continuing it so up to n minus 1 edges you should travel like that okay i hope you got some small idea about what's what at all is this prims algorithm okay let's go in depth with an example shall i do it okay, that's better i'll be doing it that will be a bit good for you okay okay i'll be drawing the same diagram that will be the best thing is that a star no no okay, let's draw it i'll be drawing the rough diagram i'm not an artist okay like this like this like this and like this yep done v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 3 3 3 4 3 2 1 yep this is what the diagram is okay okay let us assume the starting vertex is v1 v1 is the starting vertex so v1 v1 the least distance edge what is it we got one with four one with three one with three one with three so select any vertex with three i gonna select v3 now this is done yep that's done so let's continue further so i have told you we need to continue now from v3 v3 to the least one will be the v2 now v2 to the least one that will be v4 v4 to the least one okay that's v1 is already occupied so the left one is v5 that's it you have visited all the vertices right yep so this distance v1 to v4 v3 is 3 2 1 and 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 three what is the cost it's eight it seems three plus three six seven eight nine something is wrong so just a second okay i didn't write the weight here if it's okay in the question it's two so it's two it's eight okay i hope everyone got a detailed idea on how to solve a problem given on prims algorithm so just take an example from online or somewhere else and just try to solve it it's really an easy method okay let's go through kruskal's algorithm okay once you okay i forgot sorry i just forgot one more thing once you have just got the path just draw the tree with that path you could just initially plot the points so that the points will be so perfect v1 to v3 okay write those names v1 v2 
we three, we four, we five, one, two, three, three, two, 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 four, that's fine, two, two, four, four, two, five. This is what the minimum cost spanning tree. And now, after this, you need to write nothing but you'll be writing this. 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equals to 8. 8 is the minimum cost of this spanning tree. That's the statement and you'll be writing the steps. Whatever you have followed, which I have wrote previously. You'll be writing now. Okay, that's fine now. Let's go through Kruskal's algorithm now. Kruskal's algorithm is also same like this. Okay, initially for any of this, both you will be removing the self loops and parallel edges. Okay, so now after once that's done, you will be creating a table or column. You will be you will be giving the edge name and the cost, and you will be arranging them in such a way that they are in ascending order. And further on. You will be inserting one of one after the other, one after the other edges from least value to the maximum value, one after the other, such that no circuits, sorry, no circuits or uh, cycles are formed. Okay, this is going to be the easiest way. Than the previous, this will be the most interesting and easiest. Okay, let us take an example. Okay, I'll be just taking a new paper for just a second. That's fine. Whatever. Paper. Just I'll be drawing the circuit which is here. This is an example problem which I have to from our exam paper, previous exam paper. D T S. That's fine. Remember that these problems will be given for 6 marks or 10 marks even further which are few of the most important questions for your exams. So please try to learn them perfectly. They're gonna help you a lot guys, I'm sure. Okay. Once you have done with the question, just remove. Step 1 will always be remove parallel edges and self loops. This is a parallel edge. This is a self loop. So whenever you will be coming across these things, here you need to check. This cost is less than this. So we will be removing this. As we need to find the minimum cost. Minimum cost of spanning tree. So we need the minimum value. So again, this is a self loop. You need to neglect the self loop directly. So now the diagram will be without these two things. So now I will be directly, you, if you are interested, you can draw the diagram again. As that is a big LAQ. You need to draw the diagram and you need to maintain a neatness and everything will matter. So, edges. Just this will be the table. Okay, let me let me note it down really faster. B D D T A C C D C B B T A B S A S C. Okay, costs two two three three four five six seven eight. Okay, that's it. There is nothing more to do. Just now you got the costs of it. You completed the table. And now there is nothing much to do. Just like the previous. Just write these vertices down here. Without any edges. As something like a null graph. C. B. D. T. Okay. Now insert one after the other into this. Initially I will be inserting BT. To turn. Next DT, DT2, done, AC, 3, done, CD, 3, done, CB. Whenever I will be trying to draw CD, it's going to be a closed loop. So I will be avoiding it. BT, BT, same situation. AB, same situation. SA, this is a possible. SC, same situation. So, this could be the minimum cost spanning tree for that. So, 7 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. 10, 30, 15, 17. 17 is the minimum cost of this spanning tree. So, I hope everyone understood what is this. I, I have explained the spanning tree definition in the previous video. And in this video, we have learned what are the main methods that are used to find the minimum cost spanning trees.
so i hope this video helps you a lot for your exams thank you thanks for watching it by this chapter our chapter is going to end okay guys thank you